Heavy rain and intense winds made their way through western Massachusetts this weekend. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres has a closer look at how people are coping after this recent string of storms and widespread flooding. Have you seen anything like this before? Mm -mm. <laughs> Nothing like this. No, no, it's uh, it's bizarre. It really is. And uh, hopefully it will end soon. <laughs> Climate change is expected to worsen the frequency, intensity, and impacts of some types of extreme weather events, putting New England's distinctive four seasons at risk. Breaking yeah. records in, in temperatures, humidity, all, all across the country, and water. Um, so it's here. Yeah, it's a scary thing. It's too bad. It's really sad to see. On Sunday, the 22 News Storm Team issued back-to-back -back severe weather alerts for flash flooding, thunderstorms, and even a tornado watch. The flood is certainly, uh, I think, the biggest concern. I mean, the problem, I guess, you can always have a tornado possibility, but uh, the flooding is going to be serious. There's no, no way around that. That's, it's happening. All of these severe weather events have people concerned about the future. People emphasizing the strong impact that the climate crisis continues to have on the weather here in the Pioneer Valley. I know that a lot of people try to, uh, you know, downplay or even ignore, you know, the effects of climate change, but uh, it's hard to say that it's not affecting it. It, it really is affecting us and will continue to, and, you know, I guess just so much the earth can handle though. So, uh, yeah. It's yeah, we're smiling, but it's really in intense when you look at the whole country and the world and how it's affecting globally. Working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.